Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I know I've been gone for a minute, but I'm back. And I promise I have a really good reason as to why I've been gone for so long. So about a month and a half ago, I got injured. I had my leg. This was in June. So it was a Tuesday. It was a Tuesday night. I twisted my ankle and I thought that was it. Like I thought it was a twist. So I didn't find it necessary to go to hospital that same night. So I waited until Wednesday and I did. I went to AR. The doctor was like, it looks like it's a bad sprain, but just to be careful, let's, you know, we should go take an x-ray. I'm like, cool. But they didn't have one at AR Sarit Center. So I went to Nairobi Hospital. I got an x-ray, but it wouldn't be ready until the following day. So I came back home. At least I had gotten pain meds, so I was fine. Then um, I had asked the radiology department at Nairobi Hospital to email me the results, but no, no, they couldn't do that. Or rather, they took forever. So I just decided to go there, pick my results, and turns out it was a fracture, or so they said. So um, for some reason, like instead of going to see a doctor at Nairobi Hospital, Seeing as how I was already there, I decided to go back to AR. Yeah, that, that wasn't too smart on my part. But yeah, so I went back to AR. He looks at the results, he's like, okay, a fracture. And I've had a fracture before. So I know like it's just a cast and that's it. And I was fine with that, like it's cool. So I go thinking that they even offer those services, which they don't. But anyway, he's like, yeah, you need a cast for this, but we don't offer it. I'm like, great. Just to be cautious, I'd like you to go visit an orthopedic specialist. I'm like, okay then, do you guys have that here? He's like, no. Well, he's like, yes, we do, but he's only available on Monday. It's a Thursday. So I'm like, what am I supposed to do in between that time? I was in so much pain. Walking was a problem, so I just opted to go back to Nairobi Hospital where they were like, yes, there's an on-call orthopedic specialist, so we can just call him up. I'm like, great, so I sign in, my insurance and all of that. And then they decided to take me through the whole process again, as in the whole take your temperature, your weight, and I'm just like, guys, that I just told you I'm here to see a specialist. And it's quite evident that my leg is hurt. Like, I'm not sick, it's my leg. So I'm like, um, dude, I just, I just need a specialist. They're like, well, you'll have to go see the doctor and then he'll call the specialist. I'm like, great, okay, fine. So I wait in line, I see a doctor, he looks at my leg, he looks at the x-ray, and then he's like, mm, I'm not too knowledgeable on this subject. So let me go consult another doctor. I'm like, um, okay, cool. Oh. He goes, comes back after about 10 minutes. He's like, uh, yeah, it looks like you're going to be admitted. So you'll have to move into the, you'll, you'll have to move to the inpatient side of the hospital. Something I didn't mention is why I was sent to the orthopedic specialist is because they said the type of fracture that I had or that they said I had, it might require surgery just to avoid complications later in life. So I'm like, ah, okay, fine. But this whole time I'm just praying. I'm praying that I don't need to get the surgery. But anyway, I go to the inpatient side. Um, doctor comes to look at my leg, looks at the x-ray again. He's like, yeah, we kind of need to admit you. But let me call the specialist. I'm like, this whole time, the specialist hadn't been called. Like, guys, really? So I'm like, cool, power, call him. So he's called and yeah, it's confirmed that I will need surgery. I'm like, okay, fine. But then he's been so quick about it. He's like, we'll admit you tonight and then you can get the surgery tomorrow. I'm like, wait, 
hold up like give me a second to just digest everything that you've told me like all this is just it's too much for me so i kind of tell the doctor like ah can i schedule for like another day because i i wasn't prepared for this he's like yeah sure you can just get your own orthopedic surgeon and then come back and you can schedule a surgery I'm like uh where are those from like he said that like i can just call him up like but anyway at this point i really couldn't make any decisions like i was just i was too emotional i was trying really hard not to show it so i decided to call my mom and then i tell her everything that's going on she's like you know what just be admitted get the surgery let's move on so that you can start your healing process i'm like oh okay fine at this point the doctor has really called the surgeon be like uh the chick doesn't want the surgery tomorrow so i call him back i'm like um excuse me i i changed my mind like it's fine you can admit me they're like okay fine so they do the whole process of signing the forms and drawing my blood blah blah my mom came then i was admitted at about 12 12 30 a.m yeah but it's so nice enough to bring me dinner that hour because i was starving so yeah i was admitted and that was the longest night ever like i had never been admitted before so i was just i was like in shock and then i was put in a surgical ward so the people around me have gone through surgery some are groaning in pain in the middle of the night it's just it, it was too much like it was the longest night ever but anyway so i think i got a bit of sleep at like three in the morning then i was woken up again at five because the doctor came to see me the surgeon he looks at my leg he's like yeah this leg will need surgery but it's too swollen so maybe let's give it a day come down then we'll operate at this time he hadn't seen my x-rays so he decides to look at them he takes one gland just one gland and it's like there's no fracture here are you kidding me like i had been through like three or four doctors they were all wrong like all of them honestly but anyway at that point i was honestly just really glad that i didn't have to go through surgery so he's like all i need is a cast and i'll be good to go but still swelling had to go down so in my mind i'm like ah that's cool this is a friday so like my mind just chill elevate my leg for a day then saturday get the cast and i'm discharged shock on me that's not how it went down i was in hospital till monday monday till 7 p.m that's the time i was discharged and this entire time while I was in hospital, all they did was elevate my leg and give me painkillers. Like that was it. Nothing else. They didn't do anything else to my leg. And mind you, from the doctor came to see me Friday morning, he did not come back until Monday. Like how are you supposed to know the progress I'm making if you're not going to come and check on me? I just I found that really weird and I was honestly just so pissed off. I, I really wanted to get out of there so even my mom had had enough that monday i was actually discharged forcefully because my mom just called up the doctor like um i'm getting my daughter out of here with or without your consent so are you can so it's like fine i'll be there too he had so much attitude my lord anyway so at two he shows up um he's like so you want to discharge your daughter and mom's like um yes i am taking her home he's like but she doesn't have the cast he's like don't worry we're going to seek a second opinion i just want my daughter discharged now it's like okay still with attitude like anyway this was at 2 p.m the whole process took till 7 p.m just discharging me but again they were nice enough to give me food so i i was i was cool i was just chilling so yeah finally i was discharged and then even when the process was finally done for some reason they were taking so long because i had had my legs so i would need a wheelchair to like leave the hospital they were taking so long i walked out of the hospital like i was done 
I had like I couldn't stay any longer. And then when discharging me, they gave me they they insisted on prescribing medication. And I'm like, you've been giving me painkillers, like what are you prescribing? So they gave me three boxes of painkillers. Like three big ass boxes of painkillers. And it's just why and it's not like these painkillers that are so strong that need to be prescribed to people. It was one of those paracetamol types. Like I was just I was fed up with that hospital. But anyway, we sticked our second opinion and I'm doing much better now. I'm wearing an ankle support. A bit of pain, but I'm doing much, much better. And so now I can get back to doing videos. Because that's why I took a break. I honestly just had to give myself time to heal mentally and physically just let my leg heal at its own pace but i'm back now so back to regular scheduling which is two videos a week on tuesday and on thursday so i'll catch you guys in my next one bye